Hello and welcome to Rory Adam Games Plays Order of Battle Blitzkrieg. This is the latest DLC in the Order of Battle series. I have played a little bit. I played through the tutorial and a few turns through the first scenario. I found it very difficult. Surprisingly difficult, I'd say. Uh, but what I really like about it is it's a kind of an updated modern version of the Panzer General series, uh, much like Panzer Corps, another Slytherin title. Uh, grew up playing that game, and I really enjoy the beer and pretzel turn-based strategy games, uh, World War II especially. Uh, so it was only appropriate that my first series on the channel was this kind of modern-day Panzer General series. So let's dive in, shall we? Summer 1939. After a series of diplomatic coups in neighboring countries, Germany has expanded its territory and influence in Europe. Now, determined to rescind further territorial changes that took place after the Great War, the German army sets out to invade Poland. Okay, as you can see here, we'll be uh, storming into Poland from East Prussia. Uh, we'll form the Northern Pincer. And we will be taking on the strong defensive position around the town of Lawa. I want to go ahead and pre-apologize for butchering all these names. Uh, my Polish, German, French, Russian. Hmm. Not very good. So a couple things to go over here before we launch into this. Uh, you can see the difficulty I've set to Lieutenant. Uh, like I said, I don't have a lot of experience. And I found the game challenging, what little I've played. So... Uh, in the hopes of, uh, you know, creating an actual series rather than losing on my first <laughs> scenario, I will play as a lieutenant. And don't laugh at me if at some point in this campaign I have to bump down to a one star. You can see our specializations. These are kind of things we, we purchase with, with uh, different uh, research points, specialization points, um, that kind of give us special uh, advantages over our opponents. So what we currently have is tank school. Uh, it says that all newly purchased tanks start with one experience star. Keep that in mind as uh, moving forward here. I'm going to tell you why that's uh, how that influences our, some of our first decisions here. So let's go ahead and launch the scenario. I think the uh, first thing we're going to do is kind of get an overview of our force disposition. So you can see here, these are our forces. We are down on the Polish border. We've got, let's see, we'll use our little toolbar here, menu on the side, uh, show you we've got three standard infantry units plus an engineer unit. We've got a Panzer II. We've got a Panzer 38 uh, not deployed. We've got a 7.5 centimeter light infantry gun and a BF-109. So we do have a fighter. Uh, here's our engineers. Here's that P-2. And way over here you'll see we've got another infantry squad and that little infantry gun. So zooming out here, I want to talk about our plan a little bit and talk about our objectives. Our two main objectives are to capture these cities here. Uh, this first one up north is Malawa. This is heavily defended. And then down here, uh, Chichnau. Uh, those are our two must-dos. So we've got to capture those cities no matter what to advance. Some secondary objectives. Let's pull up our screen here. Destroy a bunker in three turns. Probably not going to happen. I'm going to explain why. I think we can take this airfield right here within 20 turns. I'll explain why. And destroy 20 ground units. Uh, I also think that's doable. So let's talk about our overall uh, mission strategy here. Instead of attacking frontally into Malawa, I know this is heavily defended. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two different pincer movements, one through the southwest, crossing the river somewhere down here, south of this intact bridge, and then take another group uh, on the east, drive southeast, over this broken bridge, I'm going to bring some engineers up to repair that and attack Malawa from the east. Uh, my goal would be to link up somewhere along this bridge, along this river here, and encircle and completely envelop Malawa, cutting off uh, supply. 
Cutting off supply is really important in this game. Uh, as you'll see, it has a very uh, civilization-esque uh, conquered territory mod to it. So you can actually, as you move and capture territory, it will expand and you'll secure your supply lines. So one of the first things I'm going to do, I'm going to send this infantry squad as well as my P2 this way. But first I'm going to capture this city back here and secure up all this territory here all the way down into this peninsula so that when we attack over the river we have lots of friendly territory uh, feeding us supply to fall back on. Uh, one thing I have learned is it's really important in this game to consolidate up your gains, to protect your bridge heads, and to really secure your supply lines before you make any major attacks. Uh, and yes, I did learn that the hard way. Uh, over here I'm going to send another tank unit along with these engineers, repair this bridge, cross in this area, build up a bridgehead here, and then attack south uh, in a, as part of that eastern pincer movement to cut off Malawa. Over here at Trezelli, I'm going to send this uh, infantry squad over, probably with another infantry squad, and this infantry gun to take this. Basically, this will be kind of a its own little battle group. We'll link up with the the bridgehead here, and hopefully, depending on what uh, you know what the uh, defense looks like, push that group or even a, you know, like a reconnaissance in force, maybe one infantry squad down to this airfield, do some recon, and eventually attack and take it. So that's the plan. How are we going to get there? Um, we need to add to our force. You'll see down here I've got 200 requisition points I can use to spend on units. And then uh, these command points limits how many different units I can deploy. So you can see I've got 10 command points in land forces and 4 in air forces, my Luftwaffe. So I want to maximize those. Um, and here's what I'm going to do. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get me a Stuka. Uh, Stuka is going to be important for knocking out enemy units as I make my way uh, toward Malawa. Uh, once I get Malawa encircled, Hopefully I'll have enough points to purchase something like a Henkel or a, a major strategic bomber that I can wear the city's defenses down with. The, the Stuka is going to be real effective at uh, hitting units, which is initially what I'm going to need as I invade. So you see here I'm in my uh, purchasing depot. I can pick up any sort of of units. Uh, I'm in the infantry panel. So you'll see here it says uh, attached to each unit the, the purchase points in regards to your requisition points. In this case an infantry squad 1939 edition will cost 25 RPs. On the right side you'll see how many uh, command points it takes up. So if I were to, to field this division and deploy them they would eat up three of my ten remaining uh, deployment points. So we came in here to get that Stuka. Let's get it. So you can see here we've got an 87B. It's going to cost me 80 requisition points. And it's going to eat up three of my four available deployment slots for the Luftwaffe. I'm going to go ahead and purchase and deploy. Cha-ching. I'm going to deploy that Stuka up a bit actually. Instead of putting him right at the airfield I can deploy him right there since he has a shorter range and I want him to fly with this uh, 109 uh, deploying him forward makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to do something here that might be a bit controversial um, and like I said I don't know this game very well so maybe what I'm doing is completely silly and uh, will come back to bite me in the end, but I'm going to disband this 38. What this will do for me is give me 18 points. What I'm going to do, actually, hmm. Let's take a look, see if I can make these purchases without actually disbanding the 38. What I want to do, I want to tank, but I want to tank with some experience. You see right now the 38's got nothing, but remember because of my specializations, that tank school, whatever I purchase now will give me an extra uh, experience star. And I really, really want me a Panzer III. 
by buying a Panzer III, that's going to eat up all of my remaining points. If I were to disband this, I'll get 18 points back, which would allow me to purchase an engineer. I really, I also need some heavy infantry and really another standard infantry division as well, but I'm hoping that my reinforcements will allow me to purchase those soon. And that at least initially, these kind of assault troops, an engineer squad, and a, a Panzer III is going to be more important. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to disband the 38. I know, I know. Crazy. I'm going to take those points. I'm going to invest them in some engineers. I'm going to buy those engineers. I'm going to deploy them over here onto my left flank, along with the standard infantry division and that infantry gun. I'm going to go back into my purchasing depot and pick up my Panzer III. Purchase and deploy. Sure. Let's revive them. All right. So here's what we got. We got ourselves a whole mess of experience now. 1,000 points. We've got a better vehicle that we'll be able to upgrade throughout the war, a Panzer III. Uh, the Panzer 38, the Czech tanks, awesome tanks, were great, great steals for the German army, uh, but the, the chassis and the design just didn't really get upgraded uh, beyond that, other than repurposed into anti-tank weapons like the Martyr. I think the Martyr was built on the, maybe the Martyr was built on the P2 or P3 chassis, I'm not sure. Regardless, the P38 is a dead-end tank, the Panzer III is going to get upgraded, I'm going to be able to grow with it use it for a long time, and I've got that extra experience. So while that may seem crazy, that's what, I, that's what I'm going to do. OK, so I no longer have any requisition points. Uh, I have some leftover Air Force deployment points and Land Force deployment points. Uh, but for the time being, this is what I'm going to roll with. So I'm going to exit deployment mode and start the battle. OK, first things first. I talked about shoring up supply and captured territory. The first thing I want to do is bring this infantry squad, capture this city, and secure up and link up all this supply back here. Uh, I'm going to take a calculated risk and say that this city's is undefended because uh, it's in a barely defensible position, and all of these forces are stuck behind the river here uh, in fortified positions. I'm going to say they abandoned this. Um, for the sake of time, I'm, I think that's a risk I'm, that, that's worthwhile. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. So I captured that city. It's going to take three turns for that city to actually become mine. In the meantime, I'm going to take the Panzer II. Really cool feature that I love. Like I said, maybe I said this before, but this game is like Panzer General with all those features you wish it had. Uh, one of which is multi move, uh, uh, I guess, multi move transportation. So I, basically, the P2 can go this far in one turn, but I want him to go you know, way out here to the peninsula. If I hold down the control key, I can send him out there and he'll automatically move at the end of every turn. So I want him to go down here, explore this area, recon it, capture all this territory, and set the peninsula up basically uh, for our, our uh, crossing over the river there. Lovely. I'm going to take this squad and put them in blocking positions here. So uh, while I'm doing this massive pincer movement, I really leave my center um, vulnerable. So I want to set up blocking positions there. I'm going to have the squad just sit there in trench. And if any units try to counterattack through um, or try to escape once I have the envelopment complete and I've created a Kessel, uh, I'll have this blocking team here to track them down and eliminate them. All right, so I'm going to take these engineers, bring them up to this bridgehead here eventually, and repair that by setting up a pontoon. Bring up my P3, have him sit there. Actually, yeah, have him sit there. That'll be good. 
All right, something I should have done British initially is send the 109 to scout. Okay, I still think there might be units in this forest, so I'm a little leery. We'll find out when the engineers move up. And the engineers very well may get fought off this bridge, in which case, well, like Mike Tyson once said, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Uh, that'll be my punch in the mouth moment. Okay, this is good. It's, this is this is very good. The 109 didn't detect any enemy units, and my Stuka hasn't found anything either. Okay, so I'm going to bring these guys up, get them ready to assault. I'm going to bring the engineers to flank. I guess it doesn't really matter. Send them there. Um, awesome feature of this game. If you have a unit on op opposite sides of an enemy with a hex in between them, uh, they will get an attack bonus when attacking, a flanking bonus. Super awesome uh, addition feature. So let's move up to 7-5. I'm confident I can move them up to the bridge here. Uh, I've got the infantry squad blocking, and I can start laying down fire on this position. I can tell you right now, um, as um, man, as much as I want to hit this engineer team on the bridge, I'm gonna. I really need to suppress this this squad here, the garrison unit, and start wearing down their efficiency so that I can have a more successful attack. Uh, they're fully entrenched. They're in a city. It's gonna be tough to root them out. And because there's an engineer squad here, it looks like you know if and when I take the city. They're going to blow that bridge. So my goal will be to attack and take the city and push these engineers off the bridge before they're able to blow it. Uh, sounds difficult. All right, so that is my first turn. Let's see the Polish response. OK, so they are sitting back and playing defense. My engineer's up there. Okay, that's good. So they've encountered no enemy units directly on the opposite side of the river. Uh, that is awesome. So they're going to repair that bridge in the next turn, uh, but I'm still going to pull my P3 around to build up a bridgehead. So I'm going to swing him around through these woods, and capture all this territory, and have him link up with this engineer squad at the crossroads. And then I think I'll have a sufficient enough... Uh, yeah, beachhead on that side that I can begin my attack toward Malawa. And hopefully by the time I have the bridgehead established, uh, I've got reinforcements. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I'm not picking up any. All right. Got some guys there. They are entrenched. You can tell by the sandbags they're entrenched. the squad up here, link up these supply lines. So now I've got supply coming out of Nedenburg along this axis and this axis. And if I click on my supply, uh, yeah, at some point the city should start giving me supply once it's fully mine in another couple turns. Yeah, awesome supply features in this game. Really cool. All uh, right, I think that's all I can do. Well, let's hit them with some more artillery, shall we? Okay, an attack looks like it would be relatively successful by hovering over. I can see I would inflict two damage, they would inflict one on me. Um, I would still prefer stronger flanking attacks, so I'm going to hold off. I think that's about all I can do. Those guys are going to hunker down and trench up and just wait. All right, he's going to continue his movement down there. All right, I think that's it for this turn. OK, 
Okay, still no response from the Poles. Additional troops and equipment have arrived at the staging point. More units are now available for deployment. Awesome. So I've, as you can see, I, I've increased my Luftwaffe deployment points to four. Uh, so they added three more capacity. Uh, potentially that gets me the Hankel, I believe. Yep, it eats up three. Now, as you can see, I still can't afford it. Um, it also upped my command points for the uh, deployment of land forces to eight. So I had two, added six. Um, however, my requisition points are still relatively low. They only topped me up 130. I will tell you that strategically, uh, these are the most difficult points to acquire. And you have to be really prudent in using them. And I'm still very much a noob at really, you know, what to buy, when to buy it. So I think what I'm going to do is pick up, for the time being, some more infantry. I would love to reinforce both pincer move with another infantry squad. So I go into infantry. So I mentioned earlier that I was looking at adding some heavy infantry as well as another infantry squad it looks like uh, it would eat up seven of my command points uh, which is fine I have eight and it will only cost me 80 rec points which leaves quite a bit left as I save toward an artillery piece or a hankel oh, that's right I'm already rethinking the, the strategic bomber. <laughs> it just so feel, feels so weird to be buying a strategic bomber as Germany. Let's take a look at the artillery. So I could get a 10-5 right now. I can afford it. It would eat up almost all my points. Mm, it would eat up almost exactly all my points. Still don't feel it's a great use at this point would rather beef up my infantry um, at least by adding a heavy infantry squad let's go ahead and do that purchase and deploy Can deploy from here the nice thing about heavy infantry first of all they have stronger attack and defense values um, you know as you can see they're, they're built around heavy MG's probably the MG 34 at this point in the war but a really cool feature about them is they also have a mortar company embedded in them. So you can actually set up a mortar barrage, uh, which is, uh, you know, the next best thing to having a true artillery piece, uh, organic mortars. So I'm going to hold off on what else I'm going to do at this point. I think right now all I want is the heavy infantry. I know I said I'd buy another infantry squad, but it looks like I'm going to hold off. It also looks like it is time to end this episode, so I th appreciate your watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment, help me out, what can I do better, and tell a friend. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next episode.